Hi, and welcome to this week's uh, patch update. I have with me Zach Zidanek. We're going to cruise through some of our schools and the programs that we have at each school along with uh, some of the particulars about each program. So I know we've had a busy couple of weeks getting programs up and running. Some of them are coming to the end. Some of them are starting up. So where do you want to start at? Uh, let's start with the end. The, end, <laughs> the okay. middle school, Spencer Middle School, ended last week. That was right. their end of their five-week session. They're going to start back up in the first week of November. So they're gonna have a lot of the same classes they had, maybe a couple new ones to go along with those, but they'll start back up. Also wanna remind people though that the tutoring program that we have going with Miss Perky, which is a math, math tutoring, tutoring on yep. Tuesdays and Thursdays, Tuesdays, seventh and eighth graders, Thursdays, fifth and sixth graders, that's gonna continue on. We're still taking registrations for that. I still have room in that, especially the fifth and sixth grade one. So if you would have a child that you wanna get into the math tutoring at the middle school, or you are a child that wants in math tutoring and is really a go-getter, <laughs> wants to go get in math you tutoring. Math grade up. <laughs> yep. Then uh, you can get a form at the middle school and fill it out, turn it back in as soon as possible, or call our office. All right. So Spencer Middle School has ended their fall session. They'll start up their winter session first week of November, except for math tutoring with Miss Perky, which is ongoing. Yep. All right, right, what's next? All right, at Spencer Elementary School, we started last week, so we'll continue on with those programs. We still have room in there. We um, did a smaller sign up to begin with because we wanted to make sure some of the um, students who really needed to get in there and get more help got in there and um, that uh, we did teacher recommendations. Now it's open up to more people, so if you want to get your child in that, we're doing um, more homework help and, and schoolwork help at the elementary school and then doing an academic enrichment. The academic enrichment can be reading and art, it can be dance, it can be board games, it can be science activities, it rotates depending on the day. Right. But, um, we're seeing a lot of growth from the students that are getting in that. They're getting a lot of help from Kate Williams, our site coordinator there, and our students and uh, college students that are coming over there, Kelly Hall and all them. So still room in the elementary school program. It will run up through um, December the 11th. Right, and that's a program, again, based on parent feedback and teacher feedback to help elementary students get their homework completed and then get some socialization activities and some uh, core and Get activities. to do some fun things and yep. hands-on things as well. Right, and that's expanding. So if you have an elementary school student and you'd like to get them in the program, let us know. All right, next up, Gary Elementary Middle Gary school. Elementary, all right. Yep, um, they started on yesterday on yep. Monday with their programs. They're still taking registrations, but if you want in, you probably have to get in quick because it's starting to fill up pretty quickly. They already had a good number of students there on Monday, and they just put out forms last Thursday so um, it's filling up they have a wonderful sculpting program that they're doing with uh, Miss Jeffers the new art mm -hmm. teacher there they have some of that for some younger grades on Wednesday on uh, Tuesday and Thursday it's for the older students right and then we have some other uh, excellent programs with um, we have Amber Talman doing a fitness and a computer class there we have Mr. Ricks, um, the music teacher there, is doing a fun class with boom whackers. Yep. Um, so there's some really uh, fun and excellent activities at Gary. Those are going on this week, and that one will run again until um, December the 11th, um, which is the week before they get out for their school break. So. And Daniel Maddox was a Marshall student. In Ricks. The or Daniel Ricks, I'm sorry. A Marshall Daniel student. Maddox was there, too. Marshall and a Marshall well, student, yeah. too, yeah. there, too. You weren't wrong. But. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel Ricks, a Typhoon member, a yes. student president of the student body and yep, in, uh, in the band and then went to Marshall now coming back full and he's circle. doing some really great stuff so. uh, there with the students at Gary whether it be choir band I saw mm -hmm. him working with students I'm um, doing the national anthem the other day but he's yep. doing a boom whacker class and I'm sure that'll be an excellent yep. class and very hands-on you get to learn about music in it and it's great to see students come back full circle they uh went off went to school now they're coming back contributing to our community helping out our students helping out our school one That's of our awesome. goals one of the school system's goals is to produce good students who care about their community that want to come back and help and be teachers in our community. It's a good place to live, and we want those people to come yep. back. And we have several of those, so that's yep. wonderful. All right, uh, uh, Walton Elementary. All right, to Walton. 
Walton will start on Monday, October the 27th. We're adding uh, four days. We had a couple sessions yep. last year of three days. We have four days this year with Charity, uh, Samson, and with uh, Amanda uh, Hively um, as our site coordinators. And um, we have a lot of different things going on with that. We have Andrea Hayes is going to teach a class on Tuesdays for K through three with uh, reading and um, art and projects that go along with those reading stories. We're going to have kids in the kitchen with uh, Missy Reed, yep. who is uh, works out at the school, and they're going to get to learn how to cook and do things like that. And that'll be a fun class. We're going to have. Um, one, two uh, classes, one for younger guys, one for older, called Pinteresting Projects. These are projects that come off, I know a lot of teachers and um, people use Pinterest to come up with good ideas. We've had teachers using them in yep. after school for quite a while now with our daycares also. And those are going to be fun, hands-on projects. So some of them will be craft and art type stuff. Some of them will be other stuff that they'll get to complete and take home with that. Hope Sharps is doing a science class for the younger kids on Wednesdays where they'll get to create stuff. And then we have the new art teacher there is teaching a painting portraits class on nice. Thursday. That'll be um, fun. And that will all go out um, this week. The registration forms will go out tomorrow. And we'll have classes starting on October the 27th. All right. All right and in our last program... Uh, Reedy Elementary, and they will be starting on Monday, October the 27th. Um, we have a lot of the same teachers that we usually have um, out there working with the program that have done a great job. Jessica Ellison, Judy Stickle, Heather Brote, um, Helen Somerville is going to do her class. And this time we're just going to have uh, Mondays and Tuesdays for this fall semester since we lost one of our teachers that were out there who went to an international teaching job for a while. Yeah. And um, we'll shoot to get four days back in the winter session that will start in January. But for this session it will be Mondays and Tuesdays and it will start on Monday October the 27th forms will be going out this week for Reedy Elementary School and they have a really good lineup four classes on Monday three on yep. Tuesday and Leanne Whitehouse our longtime site coordinator there also Typhoon former member, typhoon member from Jackson County and, yep. uh, and working in our communities with the kids and for high school students we have a couple programs students can participate in yep we have raise and we have meetings every Wednesday during uh, both lunches at the last 10 minutes of first lunch, last 10 minutes of second lunch. Um, anybody can join Ray. So people that uh, ask me sometimes, they say there's not a form at the school or something like that. Don't worry about that. Come to a meeting and I will give you a form. And then we also have Typhoo doing some uh, stuff in the schools here. Yep. Our Typhoo program meets every Thursday and at lunchtime. And then we meet with those students. And they're going into schools this coming Thursday the 23rd for Red Ribbon Week to kick off Red Ribbon Week and uh, talk about Halloween safety with the younger kids and this will start their um, role of going into schools and talking with their peers and acting as peer mentors so we're really excited we have a great group of uh, Typhoo students led by Savannah Harper uh, this year's president and Caleb Pell who's the vice president right. so we're really excited about that we've got a great group of students and if you're interested in having your child join Typhoo or raise they are available uh, forms out to high school and they can just attend a meeting so no excuses for not getting your child involved. We have plenty of stuff here after school at all our sites uh, with lots of opportunity for your student to get help, whether it be in tutoring uh, and just regular socialization uh, or and or community service at the high school level, which looks great on our college applications and so forth. So let us know if you need anything. Feel free to contact our, our office, 927-8047. You can email us or look us up through our website at patch21.org. And remember, this show, as always, produced and uh, hosted by A&M Digital Technologies, uh, supporting our local community and supporting our kids through all our programs. So make sure if you need to do any shopping for uh, technology stuff, check out A&M Digital Technologies. All right, that's our show for this week. We'll be back next week with some more interesting news about our patch programs. Thanks, and have a great week.